new day, Sunday, and uh, day after. Uh, Sunday for the boys. It's, it's definitely not how that goes. Do you want to get sued by TJ Hunt? Because that's how you get sued by TJ, TJ Hunt. But, uh, yeah. Paul got it all back together here. And, uh, yeah. So he's got some washers holding the shit on there. That should be good. He put a 10-pound wastegate spring in there. Um, because last night we found out it was making no boost. Making like two. Yeah. It was basically making nothing. And then on top of that, you know, that thing came off and... Yeah, it had like a no way skate spring in there basically. So uh, hopefully uh, this will be amazing. And you can do a burnout today. And then we can slap some of those tires on. Hopefully they work. Because those are, uh, that's going to be really close dude. That's like almost, that's going to be interesting. Hopefully we can get them to fit. Because oh, it would be a damn shame. Alright, well. Paul's gonna go test it, see if he's making boost now. So hopefully, hopefully he's making some sort of boost because then we can actually get the burnout crap done today. So, cross your dicks. All right, well, uh, Paul is out giving it a quick tune. Um, we are hitting boost. It's like nine PSI that so he's hitting. So uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna pop off, pop off that one. See how that looks, um, which is one. If it doesn't look good, then we might just pop both off for my windshield wipers, since they don't work right now because they're not hooked up. Um, and uh, I don't know, Rainex actually works pretty good. It's only when you get into like torrential downpour. I mean, I don't want my car in rain anyhow. So yeah, I might end up just deleting the whole wiper system. So we'll see where we go. But uh, yeah, let's get one off. I don't know, it kind of looks good, but we'll pull it off. I mean, it doesn't take anything because these are just like, they're just like friction down there. Oh, it looks like there's some sort of clip on there as well. But uh, that might just be to help hold it on. But uh, yeah, that's all it is is like that. So yeah, we'll pop this one off. All right, hopefully the wind's not too bad. There it is, they're off. And get this side down. Boom. No wipers. Looks pretty good, I think. But, uh, yeah. Whew. Well, that's that. So wait now, Paul. Well, moment of truth. Got to figure out if snow tires are going to fit on there. So, moment of truth. It's a little easier than normal. Yeah. Huh? Well, we'll find out. Farther. I don't know. It'd be in deep, I guess. Yeah. But they fit. Okay. Well. Oh, these lug nuts we've made for these wheels. We got to just get them on there, get it lowered, and find out if we got any super rubbing or anything like that. Then we'll uh, find I out. Doubt it. Then hopefully we'll do a burnout. Only thing would be. Yeah. Shocks. Shocks. That's what I'm worried about. Maybe when you turn. <laughs> See what I did there? Because it's a straight wheel and it shouldn't turn. Yeah, so, it's, so it's supposed to be straight all the time. So if it's turning. This isn't a Fiero. Yeah, it isn't. <laughs> uh, I have that all wheel drive <laughs> turning. Uh, so yeah, now we'll uh, hopefully get this thing lowered and we'll be good to go. Well, that's embarrassing. Look at this fucking hovercraft fitment. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the spot. When your front tires stick out wider than the rear. <laughs> oh my god, that's embarrassing. But uh, it won't be embarrassing when it puts out a smoke show. So uh, now we gotta go and get uh, some bleach. Because I hear bleach is a good thing to do. So, and those are snow tires, so, and they're like brand new, so that should uh, definitely put out some good smoke I mean obviously by the time you guys are watching this video you've already seen it because I'm hoping to have it today Sunday hopefully I can get it edited up today and try and get it out tonight 
But uh, yeah, let's uh, go get some bleach. All right, got the bleach to the burnout spot. Hurt some feelings. Well, got that, the um, gimbal charged, got the drone, and then, uh, yeah, so now we're ready to go uh, try and do a burnout. So let's do this. Okay, so here we are, Paul setting up the drone. Paul has it over there. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this will be a, a sweet thing. So, and I got the bleach over there. So yeah, this the video is basically a behind the scenes of the, the burnout thing. So, maybe you guys will like that, who knows. Um, but yeah, should be uh, so sweet. So let's uh, get the bird in the air. Get some smoke in the air. See what I did there? Made a really stupid punchline. Got him. All right, let's do a burnout. So next time, you see that road right there? There'll probably be two streaks because we're not going to get it right the first time. <laughs> All right, had a little trouble there. All right. Got it. Just did it. Drone's still in the air. I gotta bring it down. All right. Well, we uh, just did the first one. We gotta run back and see if the the drone continued recording because Paul's phone overheated. So yeah. Hopefully we got the footage. Otherwise we gotta go back and do another burnout. Well, so like we're like right here, just out here in the middle of nowhere. And uh, yeah, his steering is just, so he's turning that, and you can see his wheel there. Yeah, so that's fucking spectacular. So that should be fun to get home. But all right, now we gotta get that home. Okay, so it's gonna be the it for today. Um, so here, I'll flip the camera around and we can show you. So with Paul steering in there, you can see it moving, kinda, maybe. Yeah, so you can see that moving. So basically we fried this uh, gear box, which uh, luckily Paul has gladly let us all know that it's, well, the first one he found was like 250, the second one's 150. Oh, that wouldn't fit. The, oh sweet so price range here. so 270 bucks for one um so yeah um yeah that's fucking great we'll have to post in the conquest group and see if anybody's got a used one and then else. yeah or if they have something like a manual one yeah something that's not this because if there's a manual one that'd be nice because it saves us a buttload of money to not have to fucking run a bunch of universal shit and you know how universal shit goes for us. It's uh, buy 10 of them before one works. But uh, yeah, so this is actually gonna be where we're gonna stop for the day. Cause it's Sunday, Paul broke his car and we got the video pretty much. We got uh, me pulling a bicycle, or yeah, me pulling a bicycle. Me on a bicycle pulling the Conquest. Then we also got Paul driving with me in reverse. So that should be good for the video um but yeah now paul's just gonna try and if he pushes on the steering wheel it works somewhat. it works somewhat because he managed to drive it home we're only like we're only like half mile away See if I can do but, it. dream a little dream paul dream a little dream
this is going to be a two-man job. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.